Question 2. The scatter graph shows information about the height and the arm length of each of eight students in year 11. We have the arm length in centimetres going up the side, height in centimetres going along the bottom. Question A says what type of correlation does the scatter graph show? Let's just move this down a bit so I can see the rest of the question. Right. So as my height is increasing, the arm length is increasing, uh, general idea whenever you're doing anything with a scatter graph is to try and draw in your line of best fit. Whether you need to or not, it's generally a good idea. It might vary a little bit, but roughly that goes through the middle of a lot of the points. So, uh, what type of correlation do I have? Well, it's going up, it's got a positive gradient, so the answer for this question is positive. It's a positive correlation. Now the dots are quite close, we can say strong positive correlation, but we don't need to go too far on that. As long as you said positive, that'll get you the one mark. Different student year 11 has a height of 148 centimetres, estimate the arm length in the student. This is where the line of best fit will kick in. Now, with the ruler and a pencil, uh, we find a height of 148. Uh, every dash there is equal to one centimetre, so 148 is about here and draw that up so it touches your line of best fit and then across to find out where this hits the arm length uh, according to my line of best fit this works out to be about 81 or 82 centimeters we could have just looked and seen that but again showing the line where it hits the line of best fit will guarantee our marks